What's going on, guys? Hey, it's Anthony here at the Breakout Daily. Thank you guys for tuning in today, guys. We have three slabs that need to be cracked. These were CGC submissions that they gave me crazy, crazy, crazy numbers on. We're going to go ahead and clean these guys, press them, and then uh, see what we want to do. We may end up just selling these raw, throwing them in the PC. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the books overall, but this is the first time I've had to crack a slab. Now, behind me, I've got three slabs that are already cracked that I'm going to resubmit for new holders, but I thought it's time we crack some slabs, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so as always, thank you guys for tuning in. If you're not following us here on YouTube, please take a moment and hit that follow button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Got any comments, drop a comment down below, guys. Also, check us out over on Instagram at Break Period Out Daily on the WhatNot app if you're looking for some comic books at Breakout Daily and, of course, here on YouTube. Guys, we're wrapping up 2022. I've been doing a ton of cleaning. I know it looks kind of messy behind me, but... We have been doing a ton of cleanup here, and a part of that is these three slabs that I got earlier this year um, that I don't believe were fairly graded. So we're gonna crack them out. I'm gonna inspect them and clean them. I'm only gonna crack them out in this video, um, at least one of them. I'm gonna try to. This is the first time I have cracked out one of these. That is at Inhumans number five and a seven five. We have the all new Marvel point one. Um, both of the, actually, I think all three of these had fingerprints on them. This is a 5.0, the nicest looking 5.0 you'll ever see. Uh, first full appearance of the new Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. So let's keep going. Miles Morales, Spider Man 13, 7 5 as well. So we're going to choose, let's just do the Miles, I guess. We're going to choose this one. I did watch some videos on this, I know how to crack them in the unorthodox fashion of just dropping them on the concrete. I did that with uh, a Berserker convention exclusive, and that's gonna be one of the ones that I'm gonna end up returning. Let me put these guys to the side. Now, I watched several YouTube videos on how to crack these bunch of different methods. Um, clearly, we just have to get into the case. There is a very, and you're not gonna be able to probably see it, but there is a very small seam along the side where they seal these books. In fact, you guys that are submitting books to CGC, I highly recommend you check that seam because I just got back a couple of books and upon further inspection, right on the seam, there's some hairline cracks. I don't know if I'm gonna send those back or not. But nonetheless, we're gonna try to crack this guy open. Um, for those that don't know, and most of you probably do, there is the comic itself should be in a sleeve within this case. So let's see if we can get this thing started. I guess we're just gonna try to pop a screwdriver in and see if we can't get the uh, case separated to start this thing. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna end up choosing, this is probably like the most tightest sealed one out of the bunch as it is, but we're gonna try to get this separated. Most people said use a flathead screwdriver and kind of find your way in. There we go. Actually, the top here. Oops. So the top there, that is where I'm inserting it. We're going to just try to pop it. I don't want to damage the book. So I'm going to try to do this as best as I can. Let me move this mic up. Try to do this the best that I can without hopefully damaging the book. Oops. So let's keep, keep trying to get the, there we go. Kind of work your way around it. Actually, I should have grabbed, I have some tools for automotive that I think would have worked better. But that's not what we're doing. We're just working our way down. It is, it is cracking. I mean, it's, we're again, just trying to get the book out. Oh yeah, that middle, <laughs> my goodness. I'll show you guys this. I'll show you this here in a second. Let 
Okay. Yeah, so this thing is just cracking right apart. It's actually breaking in several areas. There we go. So that's not that's not that bad. The main thing is be careful. You don't want to gouge and in the like forcing the screwdriver in to jab or stab your comic or yourself. You just want to get it enough to where you can pull the contents out of it. So like in this case, this this thing is just coming out nicely. This side's actually not cracking as bad. And I don't need to necessarily open the whole thing. I'm gonna see if I can. So I can show you guys, taking it nice and slow. I don't want pieces of plastic everywhere. Oh yeah, the bottom just popped on that one. All right. So anyways, let me show you guys this. So again, I just went down the seam and slowly, if you guys can see that opening right there, I just went down the seam. There's the label itself. Now it is recommended that you send this in for a regrade or you do what you want with it. I'm not gonna tell you to do that. I'm gonna pull mine out. And then don't get this thing caught in between because, again, you don't want to damage the book. So, essentially, this is the clear case. And this is the comic book. And it is in this plastic sleeve. Now, one thing that was recommended, depending on how you're going to remove this, you want to have some... There is a little seam around this, a very tight seam, and you wanna make sure that you have enough room on one side or the other. And it's just like if you are a card collector, just kind of move the book down so you can have that room depending on how you're gonna cut it. I'm gonna use scissors. This is uh, a pretty tight little mill plastic and it is glued all the way around the book. And again, we don't wanna damage the book. I mean, that's not the intent on this. The intent is to remove it, clean it, press it, Get it back in uh, top shape and uh, go from there. Oh, yeah, this isn't too bad. Don't cut the book. Obviously, you don't want to cut the book. This is like a kind of a soft, rigid plastic. Kind of hold it here. Not too bad. Um, and then you can feel the book right in there. I wonder if you can do the old. Yeah, you can actually slide it out that way, too. I know that on other videos I watched, they were cutting down the middle. You can cut it down the middle, but it's almost like uh, popping a uh, popping a card out. So there it is right there. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. There is the book. So this book is, again, I'm going to clean and press this. The back on this book got destroyed. I have no idea what happened to this thing. But nonetheless, I'm going to clean and press it. it this one's probably going to go back into the PC, and then I'll have that there. So really, the tools that I'm using for this flathead screwdriver, some scissors, and that's it. And you can pull your comic book right back out. Um, some of these, let's, let's give another book a try here. Real quick, let's see if I can get this other one started just because I feel like that was a lot easier than what a lot of people say it was. Um, I'm going to start again. Yeah, actually going to start on the top. The top seems to be very easy. This one's already, again, you can almost pop it open with your fingers, which I don't think is necessarily a good thing. But if you get a screwdriver in just enough to break that seal or open the seal up on this, you're doing pretty good because then you can kind of wedge your way down the side of the book just like this one let's keep going and i'm using my fingers to keep the side open so again this one this one isn't too bad and i'm sure that there are some that are glued for the world's end or what have you but this is uh, not too bad and once you get it open it as far as the last one goes it stays it stays open you can pop it back open pretty easy because you broke the seal on it. This guy, we're going to test the uh, the good old card method with this. So it, I feel like this isn't too bad. This one isn't too bad either. Hold on one second. Would hold this up. All I'm doing, guys, is putting the screwdriver in around the edge. And here we go. Let me do this side. 
see if I can preserve this one. Unfortunately, and actually coming to think of it, I bet you could, I could probably heat this up and then remove it even cleaner. It's actually a clear case like, oh, this one's coming out decent. Decent, guys. Okay, let me stop right there. See if I can get the insides out on this one without damaging anything. Okay, so this is the Marvel Point One. Yep, there's the insert. So again, I'm holding this thing open. It's almost completely, completely there. Again, I'm just gonna try to pop this out and try not to damage the book. So I'm gonna hold this thing open, pull it straight out, and there it is, guys. Only a couple of seconds. That one's actually pretty clean, so I may reseal this. I think that's a kind of a funny thing. Um, kind of scary too, in, in I guess some regards. Um, anyways, that is the other case, and let's try this again. Again, move the comic down. You can just tap it, lo lo little love tap there. And there is the tiny seam right across the top. Now, if you can do it on the bottom if you move the comic down. But again, the name of the game is being careful with the book. We don't want to damage it. We just want to remove the book so we can again and reinspect it and hopefully do something else with it. This is a 5-0 according to CGC, which blew my mind because this book actually looks better than that Spider-Man I just pulled and noticed how bad the back was on. So that one I think may have been just a uh, miss, a uh, bad deal on my part. So I'm going to assume that depending on the thickness of the comic book will allow me to do what I did with the other one and see if we can get kind of the old the old comic trick or the old card trick. And there it is, guys. So a couple of light taps on the wrist, you know, kind of lightly pull it out, slides right out, guys. That simple. There is the Marvel Point One. So this is another book I'm going to go over. So I'm going to continue doing this and we'll wrap up with the Inhumans. You guys don't have to sit there and watch, but I wanted to share this with you because for me, I know when I first started getting into slabs and this, that, and the other and getting bad grades back, it was a daunting task uh, up front to think, okay, well, what, what if I damage the book? How difficult is this? I'm going to say doing this is super simple. Takes You guys watched it live. I've never done this before. Um, take your time with it. Again, you don't want to gouge through, destroy your comic or what have you. Um, and there it is. That simple, guys. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have an incredible new year. We have a ton of exciting stuff coming to the breakout daily here uh, to include more tips and tricks. We got CGC unboxings. We got some guests we're going to have on and so much more. You're not going to want to miss it out. And the, the way you don't miss out is by hitting that notification bell, hitting subscribe down below, check us, checking us out over on Instagram at break period out daily. And of course, if you guys want to hang out with us, go over to the whatnot app and follow us there as well. We do live stream shows where we interact with the audience. We sell a bunch of books and have a great time almost every weekend and we also do pop-up shows there as well guys thank you again so much for hanging out with us that is how we broke out two books from cgc slabs take care and we'll see you in the next video